Okay, in my digital coloring, I started with flat color. You can see that all here. At the bottom, I have blank white. That's like the white bread. At the top, I have my my black line art. That's like the, the wheat bread or the black bread on the top. And my color is the peanut butter and jelly in between, right? This stuff. I put a piece of gray, a layer of gray. Think of it as gray poupon on top of my white bread so that I could uh, see that even any white shapes or light shapes I wanted had to be colored in. And that's the kill whitey phase. I'm trying to get rid of any uh, whites that I don't want in the final. So my last flat color area is this foot, which is a little tricky simply because the way it's inked you erase that wasn't fully contained so if i use the magic wand the magic wand can select outside of it as well as inside of the leg where i was pretty careful with all of my other with a lot of my inking you know to really contain my shapes so if you have open shapes there are a few methods. You can just color it in using your brush, which most people just tend to do. But you have to be careful not to color outside the lines. Or you can make a duplicate of your line art, like I did here, and then use the color with your paintbrush just to, to clean up that edge. Then I can use my magic wand on that copy and get the solid color, then go to my flat color layer and paint it in. right and then you'll have it and then you can get rid of that duplicate because you don't need it anymore so that is incredibly clean flat color but it doesn't mean it's the most interesting right so i'm going to save it there And that actually meets all the requirements of the assignment. If I were done and wanted to submit it now, I would turn off all the background because we want to submit our spot illustration as, um, as a PNG, you know, something that works on versatile backgrounds, just like our logo. And so what are we missing? Well, we might want to give it an offset. So I'm just going to unlock my black line art and I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to give it a stroke of white. But you'll notice that there's a problem. If I give it an offset of white, which looks good on the outside, notice that because this is line art, it's also affecting the inside. So this is what I want to do. I want to click outside with contiguous on of my spot illustration. And then I have to notice that I need to close off this one. So I'm going to add in or subtract from that selection this leg. So this is showing you that open edges hurt you in a few ways. You have to be aware of them and close them up. Okay, so now what I've done is I've just selected all the negative space around my illustration. Now I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to say select inverse and then fill it with white. Edit fill with white. This is actually the base coat. So this is what gets printed on a t-shirt before anything else gets printed. Then we're going to move that white down below our flat color. And now on that white layer, so I'm going to call this or anything else. Now on that base white, I'm going to double click and now I can add a stroke. And I can make that stroke white or anything else, you know. 
so that it shows up on different backgrounds, just like a sticker. There we go. So now that's really basic color and I just turn off the background and it's ready to submit. If I want to get extra fancy, I can put a drop shadow on it as well. So this is how it would print. Right. Just like a sticker. So I'm going to say save as because I'll show you three different options. You just need to show one, one option, but I'm going to, here we go. So I'm going to save it as a PNG and called it flat color to the desktop. You only need to do one color version of your spot illustration, but I'm going to show you the different steps. Okay. So that's a really basic way. So now I'm going to take that, that line art. I'm going to lock it again. I'm going to take this base white offset layer, lock it, and now I want to work on duotone color. So how can I do duotone color? How can I split the reds into two different reds, the, the white of the feathers, the kind of creamy off-white of the feathers to two different whites, at least, and then the yellows to two different yellows? So an easy way to do it is to just duplicate your flat color. So Command-J, and then go to Image Adjustments and Levels. And then you can just push the middle slider on your levels up for a highlight and down for a shadow. So the problem is, you see how that's affecting the white and the yellow, but it's not affecting the red. That's because my red was a 100% saturated red, which has no white or black in it. That's just solid red light. So I can't affect that with levels. But what I can do is just find a new red. Maybe a little rustier, right? And then just paint it in. Because these colors are nice and flat, I can just use the paint bucket without the, the magic wand and it will already find them. Whoops, as long as I click correctly. You know, because all these colors are, are very self-contained, right? Okay, and now let's take these other colors and now let's play with the levels. I want to darken them all. Okay, so now I have kind of a darker version and a lighter version, right? I can also play with, I mean, that's classic duotone. So I'm going to relabel this. So tones, adding uh, black to our flat colors gives us this, right? And now to make a duotone, I can add a layer. I can take my flat color, duplicate it again. I can replace the super saturated red with a brighter red that has something else in it, some white, maybe a little yellow. of a salmon color. And now I'm going to go to levels and I'm going to brighten my flats by pushing the middle slider away from the white. All right, so everything's a little bit brighter. Hope I missed this. Steal that color, drop it in. Okay, so now I have highlights. So this is called tints. Do a tone color. Tints is when you add white to your local color. Do a tone is when you use both together. So right now we have either or. We have either the tones, the darks, or we have the lights. So you can do this one of two ways. 
I'm going to do it where I erase away and get the shadows where I want the shadows. So what I'm going to do is make a duplicate of the tints, move it above my tones, and then use my eraser. And I'm going to start with hard edged. So to do the, the cleanest kind of hard edged, I'm going to actually just use my lasso. Or I could use a hard edged eraser too. But I'm just going to lasso and then hit delete. And I'm selecting around my shadows kind of loosely, just so you get a sense. Cutting it out. And on the legs. And it's revealing the the tones wherever I delete from the tints. So it makes intuitive sense. Okay. The other way I can do it make a duplicate of my tints again, move it up above, is I can use my eraser, hard edged. This gives me a little bit more control at 100% opacity. This is hard edged duotone coloring, right? And this way I can just erase it away wherever I think needs to be erased. I don't have to make shapes with my lasso, right? And because the, the brush is hard edged, this will all be pretty hard edged. And it's just two tones, light, light and dark versions of the local color. And that gives me a little bit more control than the lasso. I like that. Let's see, what do I want to do with that bottom? I'll play with that bottom in a different way. Here I might darken just the edge of some of these feathers or underneath some of these feathers. Kind of break it up. So your duotone can be pretty detailed. In fact, I can even do little feather shapes. Oops, come on. It's subtle. But I can do feather shapes. All right. What's another way I could do it? So I like that better than this. If I combine them, yeah. So I'm going to get rid of the one with the lasso because that just it's a little clunky. And I'm going to keep this. Okay, but then I have the actual local color that was really strong on top. So what I might do is put that as a pin light on top of everything and let that kind of come through and then just fade it out in opacity until I get kind of the red I want. So I have my lights and my darks. So do a tone. And 
Now, 